Hi, I'm John Kelly. It's been two years since the London 2012 Paralympic opening ceremony. A lot was spoken about legacy at the time. In this short video, I'll be chatting to Grey Eyes Artistic Director Jenny Seeley about how things have changed for deaf and disabled people, Grey Eye and for the arts. As the world looks forward to the next ceremony in two years time, we'll be looking forward to what the future holds. Alright Jen, a lot was said about the Paralympic opening ceremony. I was there, I was on the stage, giving it large. You were there, directing us all and uh, making sure it all ran at the time. What's your take on it? Well, the, the ceremony itself, it was awesome. And for me, and for Bradley, it was about putting deaf and disabled bang in the centre of that stadium for the whole world to see. It was about human rights, it was about disability rights, it was about a story, it was about a celebration, it was about stuff. It was theatre. I suppose the flip side of that, though, for the bigger deaf and disabled community, very proud of the art, very proud of our athletes, because they were awesome. But as time went on, the outside world started to think that we were all superheroes, super athletes. We're not. And I think that's, that's a perception we've still got to try and shift. A lot was said at the time about the notion of legacy. Uh, around the Paralympic opening ceremony and in fact the Paralympic Games. Can you recall what legacy meant to you back then and what it means to you now? I never really sort of like understand what that word means, but you know, it was the first time in history that they've ever had a deaf and disabled artist leading, directing a Paralympic opening ceremony. So that's that's legacy and I really, really pushing for the same to happen in Brazil and in Japan. We have to carry that on. The second thing is around training. As you know, we had the biggest training initiative like ever. So for me, the legacy for all of that was like, wow, this is wicked. The, the, the future is, is glorious. We've been training people, we've given people experience, made them very aware of their rights, that they can't be sent to stage if they want to be. Wow. So there, there was that thought, wasn't there, that the, the Paralympic ceremony and the Games were, you know, it was all about what happened in that two weeks. And then people forgot about it. And actually, some people might even argue that we've actually gone backwards in terms of kind of attitudes towards disabled people. How do you kind of balance the two? How do you, how do you respond to the negative with that positive? I mean, it's tough, but I absolutely in my heart believe that the art can challenge and change perception. I mean, if I didn't believe that, I would just give up my job. What is heartbreaking is that feeling of euphoria, those two weeks when it, we were just... Oh, yes, yes, we have. We have changed the path of history. I really did believe that. So I am just heartbroken that that has not happened. I mean, you're fighting with the Independent Living Fund. My, I'm under real threat, as many of my other deaf colleagues and the two filmmakers that are making this are under threat of having their access to work cut. We can't actually do our job without interpreters. Yes, I can speak and lip read, but I need interpreters. I could not have done 2012 without this fantastic team of, of interpreters. I'm thinking, Maybe soon I will have to reconfigure my job. So I don't do any directing, I don't do any meeting of people, um, I just sit there with, at my desk and do admin. I'm a crap administrator, I'm an artist and I want access. So I'm thinking, maybe I won't have a job. What am I going to do? What will Grey I do? It is really quite terrifying and it's a stripping away of rights, people's rights about their social life, their work life, their going to the toilet, about all of those things. It's disgusting. It's a crime against humanity. And I'm furious. So, Jen, quick game. People you might meet. Imagine these people are knocking on your door. What's the key things you say to them? Three young disabled artists. I would say, 
Oh, hang fire, grey eyes setting up an ensemble, an acting ensemble for 16 to 24 year olds. We're fundraising at the moment. Start lobbying access to work now and be ready for when we can say the course is up and running. Come on board. Someone with a bag full of money who's looking for something to support. I would say please support the uh, acting ensemble, but also please support the development of our outdoor work because it's free, anyone can come to it. It's the most accessible of all of the accessible work that we do. Okay. And your final visitor for the day is a theatre company. So you've got a casting director, you've got an artistic director, you've got a producer. What do you say to them? Come and watch our rehearsals, come and see the glorious people I work with, come and see how we work, come and see how access is the aesthetics of everything. Come and see it, go away and do it yourself. Okay, so what does the future look like? Let's say in the next two years. Right, what would have happened in two years' time, Blood Wedding would have had a big tour in Scotland and England. Right to Play would have finished in the North West and moved to the North East. Um, our ensemble will be up and running. That would have happened in London, North West, and then we'll also be moving to the North East. And we'll be doing the Garden as a city of culture in Hull. Is all that possible? In my head, it's not about what's possible, it's what's necessary. For me, all of it feels very, very necessary. What I'm saying about that mess has been out there to challenge and challenge people's perceptions and to remind everyone that we ain't going away. We are so here. If you would like to help Grey Eye continue to make theatre for the future, there are a few different ways you can help to support the company. You can visit greyeye.org slash support hyphen us or you can email info at greyeye.org accompanying this video is an article on the grey eye blog where you can share your experiences all links are in the description bar thanks for watching